Happening now at 5.30, an eyesore right in the heart of a Tampa community. A property neglected for years, but now this blight will soon become a source of pride. Neighbors have been working for years to give Hyde Park's Swan Pond a new life. Yeah, their hands have been pretty much tied until right now. ABC Action News reporter Jason Beisel shows us how their dream is finally starting to become a reality. Alongside Swan Avenue, just past the Crosstown Expressway overpass, a small retention pond greets visitors to Hyde Park. I don't think we thought about it as a retention pond as much as that, oh my God, that eyesore at the top of our neighborhood. But after five years of planning and raising money, work has finally begun, transforming this area from the ugly duckling it was into the swan it could be. It'll make the entrance to this area be more uh, beautiful. Ray Donaldson walks past the pond daily. At first, she was a little concerned seeing the renovations. They cut down trees at first, but they put the trees back in, so I'm good with it now. Well, we're so excited to see the work underway finally. The historic Hyde Park Neighborhood Association is spearheading the makeover. We've had fundraisers for years. Um, we've um, had people in the neighborhood donate in-kind services as architects and landscape architects. Raising around $500,000, and with the city of Tampa matching those funds, the $1 million renovation was able to start. Not only will it be cleaned out, but there'll be um, aerator fountains to keep the muck from growing back. They'll be lighted at night. There will also be new landscaping, wider sidewalks, benches, and palm trees towering over the pond. And this old rusty fence replaced by a more attractive one creating a park Donaldson and her two furry friends can enjoy. I'm looking forward to the sidewalks being finished so my dogs and I can walk around it. Renovations are expected to be completed sometime in mid-May. As far as a name for the park, people living in the area have submitted names to the mayor, and he's expected to choose one by the time they cut the ribbon here. In Hyde Park, Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.